least, is number 15. We started with Hufflepuff, and we end with Slytherin. They say Slytherin on the back, and right here. And I knew when I got Harry Potter socks, I got, I was, if I asked for Harry Potter socks, then I might get Raven and Slytherin, and I'm just going to have to deal. But it's worth it, just so I can get the others. All the socks. So now I am going to show you how I literally <laughs> mangled and destroyed the box just to get them out. This one got more mangled than the Christmas story. But they were easier to get out. Um, my battery's about to die. But there's the pile of socks. And the demolition of the package. As you can see here, this one's broke off, so I had to tape it back on. So I didn't lose it. So, come back when I have all the socks laid out. And we'll go through them again. I'll tell you which one I like the more and least. Here is a closer look at the socks, if you can see them. If not, don't worry. I'll have a better shot of them in the other room. Like the other one. Um, My favorite would have to be these Gryffindor ones that are hanging. See, I have to have some of them hanging down because they're the long ones so it's hard to get pictures of them but uh, this is my second favorite because it's Gryffindor and then this would be my third Griffin no my third would be this one and then that would be my fourth Gryffindor one but my favorite I like these 07 socks and the reason why they're not my favorite, but kind of my favorite is because I have the Quidditch doll that has the same thing. So we could be twinsies. But if I have to pick my favorite, I would have to go with these. And these. Um, my least favorite is these uh, Slytherin ones. And that Slytherin one. And this Slytherin one, because it's just too dark of a green. If I'm going by color instead of by what house they are. But, but I also like the blue in the Ravenclaw socks for that one. And that one. And that one, but not that one. And then for Hufflepuff, I like the yellow because I like yellow. yellow. I kind of like that one for the Hufflepuff and that one this one eh it's so so but let me know in the comments down below which house is your favorite and which sock is your favorite so I noticed something when I was putting these in the houses that Ravenclaw has only three pairs and they've got one that says Ravenclaw, but no one else has one that says Hufflepuff, even though these all say it, the long ones say it. And I got more Gryffindor than I do any others. There's like one, two, three, four pair, and then everybody else got two pair. That's weird. I just noticed that. Anyways. These are all the socks together in their houses.
And that is the setup. I hope you like it. Those are my Harry Potter socks. I hope you liked watching this series of me opening out my A Christmas Story Advent Calendar socks. And now my Harry Potter Advent Calendar socks. I enjoy looking through them and getting them and I am going to enjoy wearing them and as I wear them I will be taking pictures and yes I'm watching a Christmas story right now and you saw me in the video wearing my I don't know if I mentioned it my Christmas shirt that I got for Christmas so Merry Christmas everyone and I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's who knows when this video will come out I'll try and get it out before New Year's I said I'll try. That's all I can do. Till then, later haters! I can't believe I knew these answers. Like, wow. Like, who is the most subscribed? Well, duh. If you put PewDiePie, duh, we're gonna know the answer is PewDiePie. That was a given, because PewDiePie is the most subscribed person on YouTube. Duh. And I had to slow it down just so I could read the questions. And figure out the answers, of course. And the next one is, what is PewDiePie's army called? Dahar or Bro Army? I don't know. I guessed it was Bro Army because I was like, why Dahar Army? That wouldn't make sense. And then this one is, top of the, okay, whose intro catchphrase is top of the morning to your ladies? I know. Smosh, kind of, sort of, and I knew it wasn't Smosh. I knew it was this Jack guy. Come on. What YouTuber dyes their hair every once in a while? I thought one of the answers was going to be Joey Kasefa, because he does it. So I had no clue if it was Vanessa Gaming's or Mark Kaplier. I just guessed Mark Kaplier, and I got it right. Which is awesome that I got it right. What YouTuber hasn't shown their face yet? I didn't know this answer. I knew Jenna Marbles showed her face, so that was a given. I didn't know who H2O Delicious is, so I said them. And I got a victory because Jenna Marbles shows her face. That's a given. You made it too easy. Get your butt off of my butt. Like, why am I dragging you with me?